The East Bay City of Fremont has the highest concentration of Afghan Americans living in the United States. Today, students from Thornton Junior High honored the victims of 9-11. At the same time, they vowed to help kids in battered Afghanistan itself through something called the Roots of Peace Penny Campaign. ABC 7's Leanne Melendez. Those pennies many of us consider a nuisance are helping save lives in many countries devastated by war. Afghanistan is one example. According to the United Nations, there are about 60 landmine victims each month in Afghanistan alone. Half are children. It costs $3 to put in one of these landmines and $1,000 to take it out of the ground. It costs so much to find a landmine because you never really know where they are. The fear of the presence of a landmine prevents the land from being cultivated. So the highly trained deminers must comb the earth in order to find these seeds of terror hidden in the ground. Students at Thornton Junior High helped kick off the latest Pennies for Peace campaign. The money goes to clear minefields near schools. It also helps restore soccer fields and build new classrooms. I have family in Afghanistan, so like I'm always worried about them. So it's like I donated like five dollars, and I was like really happy. I was like I can make a difference. And there's a lot of innocent children and people and all kinds of people who are just getting killed and losing their limbs by these landmines. So it's great that they're getting them removed by these pennies that we're earning. Shamim. Jawad is the wife of the Afghan ambassador to the U.S. Thanks to you, Afghan children are once again chasing kites and kicking soccer balls in the fields that were once zones of death. Today, the superintendent of schools left people here with this thought. If every public school student in the state donated 10 cents to the campaign, they would collect about $750,000. In Fremont, Leanne Melendez, ABC 7 News. About a mile away, a special assembly was taking place at Thornton Junior High School, where the children have roots in many countries, including Afghanistan. We're harvesting grapes and transferring clusters of grapes across borders opposed to cluster bombs. As a dog demonstrated finding a landmine, children waited patiently to donate pennies for peace to help rid Afghanistan of mines maiming children. Like we see on the Afghani news, how many people are missing legs and arms, and it's just sad. Today, Roots of Peace has removed under a thousand deadly landmines from Afghanistan, and in their place planted vineyard of sweet grapes. The state superintendent of public instruction said if each student in California schools gave just 10 cents, they could send three quarters of a million dollars to Afghanistan to rid the country of landmines. In Fremont, Rita Williams, KTVU, Channel 2 News. Next, turning pennies into peace. On this September 11th, the Bay Area students hoping to change lives overseas. On this anniversary of the country's worst terror attacks, one Bay Area school hopes to change lives overseas. Lynn Ramirez shows us how students there are turning pennies into peace. America the Beautiful mixed with sounds of the Middle East at Thornton Junior High School in Fremont. It was an assembly to honor the victims and heroes of 9-11. And in this part of the Bay Area, many of the students are of Afghan and Iraqi descent. The 7th and 8th graders were only in 2nd grade when the terrorist attacks happened, but they remember. I looked at the TV and I just saw a bunch of flames coming out of two tall buildings. Because I'm Muslim and other people like uh, over there, like, and our religion doesn't say so, do that, so. But the students are not just looking back. They decided to move forward one penny at a time. Let us be the generation of students that teaches the world the greatest lesson, to love one another and promote peace. It's called Pennies for Peace. Students cleaned out their pockets and junk drawers. They gathered their small change and passed it along, bucket brigade style, to an armored car. The money goes to a nonprofit called Roots of Peace that turns minefields into soccer fields in Afghanistan. There are an estimated 60 landmine victims each minute um, in Afghanistan. Half of them are children. In my class, we raised um, about $50. Students say it was just a small sacrifice that will help make the post 9-11 world a little bit safer. In Fremont, Len Ramita, CBS 5 Eyewitness News. 
And more than a thousand students at Thornton Junior High School in Fremont took part in a special assembly today to commemorate September 11th, as well as kick off the annual Roots of Peace Penny Campaign. The campaign raises money to help children in war-torn countries such as Afghanistan. The funds are primarily used to remove landmines around schools and soccer fields. While students say it's a great program because it's helping kids on the other side of the world. I think it's really important to do, and it's great that it's making it so easy to actually help people without having to go anywhere, and we can just do it right in our fourth period classes. I was really happy because I'm Afghan, and like I've never seen something like this, so I was like really happy. Well, Fremont has the largest population of Afghans in the United States. For more information about the Roots of Peace Penny campaign, go to our website, abc7news.com. And sure, you've been involved in Roots of Peace from the beginning. You were at this uh, ceremony today. How exciting. I was. It was very exciting to see. The superintendent of school showed up, Jack right. O'Connell, and he said if every kid gave 10 cents, we would have three quarters of a million dollars really? wow. in California. Well, so It's just a terrific effort. Yeah. <laughs>